guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. What's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. How's it going? Happy 2019. I hope you guys all had a great holiday. Um, I just want to thank you guys for all of you who ordered some readings from me over the holidays. I really appreciate it. It was awesome. Um, so it kept me busy for a little bit, but that's exactly what I want. I'm so happy to be back doing the private readings, connecting with you guys again. Um, what else I want to mention? Oh, um, I'm keeping last year's format for the prices and the layouts. Uh, so the prices haven't changed. They're going back to last year's. Um, also, there's going to be a discount for anybody who is Patreon or returning customers. Um, I haven't really factored that in yet, but I will. Um, so just make sure you guys let me know that you've ordered a reading before, and then I'll, I'll try and figure out the price after that. So yeah, if you guys want to order a reading, now is a great time. I'm all caught up now. Uh, and you guys are getting your readings after 24 hours, so that's awesome. And what else did I want to say? Um, oh yeah, for 2019, um, if you reduce <clears throat> the 19, it's 9 and 1. So that's a 1, right? 10, 1. So what I'm kind of picking up with that is a year of personal growth, um, oneness, um, you know, if you are in a karmic relationship, that might also mean that you guys are going to be splitting as well. So it's, I feel it's a time for the individual to grow because next year is 2020, right? So that's two. So that's a union energy. So a lot of twins might be coming into union at that time. So yeah, and thank you so much for all of your support in terms of the book. I am so excited about it. I have uh, people reading it right now and the feedback that I'm getting from it is just, uh, it just makes me so excited. It's exactly what I wanted because I was able to answer, you know, what consciousness is from a scientific perspective. And, um, yeah, so I can't wait for it to get out and, and the cards as well. So yeah, um, it's coming as a package deal. So, you know, it's nerve wracking, but awesome. Okay guys, so I'm sending you massive love and um, I hope you enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. All right, cheers. Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fuck Skim Crew. So this is going to be a Twin Flame reading for um, January the 7th until the 17th. So I'm doing them every 11 days instead of every seven days. Uh, so yeah, let's see here. What are we gonna start with? Um, I've been thinking of a new spread that has to do with my book. Now, consciousness basically um, swirls out of the Fibonacci sequence. And the way it does that is it creates these little nested vortices, okay? So the number sequences come out of source in a specific discrete sequence. And I'm almost thinking that I can probably use that as a reading. So I think I'm just going to pull some cards and we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, so this is the way the energy flows, okay? So starting with the center card, which is source, the energy flows like so on this side. So it's going to look like the nine card spread um, for the divine partnership, but that's not how I'm going to be reading it. So I think what I'll do is say, okay, this is kind of the present moment and this is where the energy is going to be taking the masculine. Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to have to move these over a little bit. So on the masculine side, the energy will flow um, clockwise. 
And for the feminine, it's counterclockwise. I'll make sure that the cards are on camera. I think I'm going to pull a card from Osho Zen for the overall energy. And of course, I'm going to use my cards for clarifiers. Okay. Overall energy, please. Wow, Four of Wands. So, if you've watched my readings before, you know that the Four of Wands for me is the 1111 card, it means union. So the overall energy is, on this card it says participation. Should I read it now or later? I'm almost wanting to read it now, okay? So this is an energy that's shared between both aspects. Let me just move the camera a little bit here. There we go, I think you can see them like that. So let me just find the card. Okay. So the overall energy for the next 11 days is participation. Okay, so it says, each figure in the mandala, mandalas are so very important when it comes to the Vedic tradition. Um, a lot of symbolisms, a lot of uh, sacred geometry comes from that. Uh, pretty much all of it comes from that. So here we have a mandala, and this is mandalas are used during t uh, t tantras. So it's used during meditation. Um, and so you focus on a deity uh, and you embody that energy. And what mandala, mandalas do is they help, um, you know, create a space, but also um, connect with spirit or source or the deities. So here it says each figure in this mandala holds the right hand up in an attitude of receiving and the left hand down in an attitude of giving. The whole circle creates a tremendous energy field that takes the shape of a double dorge. Um, to me, that is, you know, the double Taurus is what I talk about in the book. That's at the source of everything is the Taurus, is the vortex. Um, so the Tibetan symbol for the thunderbolt. The mandala has a quality like that of the energy field that forms around a Buddha, where all the individuals taking part in the circle make a unique contribution to create a unified and vital whole. It is like a flower whose wholeness is even more beautiful than the sum of its parts, at the same time enhancing the beauty of each individual petal. You have an opportunity to participate with others now, to make your contribution to creating something greater and more beautiful than each of you could ever manage alone. Your participation will not only nourish you, but will also contribute something precious to the whole. That's beautiful. I'm just gonna adjust the light a bit here. Okay, so um, the Four of Wands, uh, participation, you realizing that you are a part of the universe, a part of the cosmos, part of the collective consciousness. Um, so again, I'm, I'm feeling this sense of oneness, okay? And so I think what this card is asking is for you to participate, to um, be a part of that growing um, collective consciousness, but also at the same time, it's a union card. All right. That's amazing. Okay, so let's move on here. Um, let's start with the masculine side since I, I, for some reason, started with him. Usually I start over here, I think, don't I? I don't know. Okay, so the card at the center is past life relationships. You have known each other before. So usually this card talks about somebody from the past coming back, somebody who you are unable to let go of because you know things just haven't really finished yet and so again this could mean a karmic partner 
Um, so the masculine may be dealing with that issue at this time, or, um, you know, they're thinking about the feminine, thinking about the connection that you guys had. So let me just pull one clarifier for that. The Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so to me, the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who you connect with on the 3D level. Um, someone who you can hold and feel and touch. So the two cards together tell me, you know, he wants to connect with the feminine in the 3D. Now, this could also be somebody who is financially stable, who is very giving and, and generous, um, likes to create a beautiful home, so it is the mother figure, Mother Earth. Um, but yeah, okay, so that is the source energy. That is the now for the masculine. I think I'll do all the cards for the masculine and do all, them all for the feminine. Okay, so the next card up. Um, so romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay, so he's you know, was thinking about the past and now um, he's moving into an energy of romance, feeling, you know, playful, feeling, um, you know, like he wants to connect with her on a deep level. He wants to tell her how, she, how he feels. Um, yeah, okay, let's continue on. The Ten of Fire. So this is exhaustion it is a completion of a cycle um, but it, it's feeling like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders and you know you basically the finish line you've passed the finish line but you realize there's still so much more to work uh, to do okay so the two cards together it's what I'm feeling here is this monumental or something building, right, um, in this monumental um, release um, of emotions, of romance, of trying to keep control of yourself, if that makes sense. Trying to keep it, you know, it's like there's a volcano that's about to erupt. Okay, so next we got true love. Wow, these are beautiful cards for the masculine. So, true love, this is a romance of a lifetime. So we see him thinking about it, we see him feeling romantic, and then having this realization that, you know, she is my true love. He's following love. It's beautiful. And look at how all the cards have the exact same stance, like they're, they're embracing one another. You know, there's definite passion and desire uh, there. Okay, so one card. Two of Cups. <laughs> That's my true love card. Oh my God. So he's moving towards union, towards um, sharing his love with his feminine. Next chemistry <laughs> oh my god okay so chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction yeah he's following his heart he's um he's drawn to the feminine you know and that's what it's all about is you know if the feminine sending a positive vibration in, into the universe that attracts a masculine towards it there's nothing you really need to do you send the, the, the vibes out and they will be answered. The moon. So the moon is, you know, the subconscious mind, it's fears, um, things that you haven't quite dealt with are kind of still playing a part. So he's drawn magnetically towards the feminine, but at the same time there's 
some fears or some unknowns that he's he's searching for answers for. Next, pay attention to red flags. The signs are con cautioning you. Okay, so it's like a bump on the road. Um, starting off real strong, uh, following his heart, and then it seems to me towards the middle of next week there will be a point where he's going to question either the feminine or question his environment, right? So we see the moon, the flag's going up, and now he's kind of paying attention to that. Five of Pentacles is feeling left out, feeling like you have no one to turn to. So there seems to be something in the future where he will feel betrayed or left alone, and that will cause him to question um, the person's motives or your motives, the feminine. All right, next we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life. Okay, so I think that's what the red flags are. We got that five of pentacles there, and that's all about 3D reality. We start off the qu with the queen of pentacles. Um, now, the queen of pentacles is a very successful woman, and she can carry her own, right? So there is a woman being represented here, so maybe it has to do with the feminine... Um, her financial situation, or po possibly a karmic partner. But either way, it's an issue. It's a feeling of helplessness, um, a lot of caution, cautionary kind of uh, signs here. Okay, so let's pull a card. Three of Wands. So that's a thumbs up. So in terms of finances, you will feel excited or empowered or feel like something paid off. You paid attention um, and it's working out in your favor. Some type of great news. Okay, so children. So your love life is being affected by children as well. So finances and children. Okay, so that makes sense why those red flags would be there. Um, seems to be like the masculine is really being drawn by the heart, but at the same time there are physical 3D realities that he is taking care of or that he he wants to make sure everything is um, set up for them. Um, or, you know, it just could be something's getting in the way, perhaps. I don't know if they don't, if you guys don't have children... I was just looking, I got a blood blister here, I slammed my finger in the door. Uh, and I burned myself on the freaking stove too on the same day, so it wasn't a good day for my hands. Um, so I'll show my pretty hands. I don't have any nails on this one either, so I got nails on this one. Anyway, I'm getting off track here. So if you don't have children, this could mean that you're returning to this innocent state. Um, feeling free, I don't know, let's pull a card, hope, so this is hope after a difficult period of time, so it's a healing, it's rejuvenation, it's um, telling you that everything's going to be fine, okay, everything's going to work out fine, so I see a lot of soothing, um, healing energy that comes with this child children card, so what I'm almost seeing is taking time to spend time with the kids or spend time playing um, and just, you know, healing yourself. But this card also means wishes granted, right? And we got that right beside that thumbs up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, next we have calling in your soulmate. Oh my God, these are amazing cards for the masculine. So here, he's thinking about it, he's desiring it, sending out chemistry, cautionary uh, tale happens, and then we have action, a desire to call in his soulmate. So the masculine may reach out, but he's definitely sending that vibration out very strongly, 
strongly that he desires the feminine. He wants to connect with her. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is obviously somebody being closed off. Um, we'll see what the last card shows, but it's kind of... It's like, I want this, but at the same time in 3D, he's closed off about it. Um, or he's trying to fight it, fight the feeling. Um, because maybe he has commitments that he has to deal with either in regards to work or, you know, I don't know, feeling lonely. But it seems to me like he's doing it to himself. But I don't know, he's exhausted, he's tired of fighting. So let's see what the last card brings. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So... Maybe there's something happening um, within the family unit and it seems to me like there's a lot of healing going on towards the end of the week and it's like he's crying out for his twin to help him, you know, move through this difficult time. Um, but all in, all in all, he heals, he, he connects and this could just be with the feminine, right? He's sending out that vibration. He's closed off but then we have this openness with this card so one more card strength card so this is using love kindness compassion very gentle nurturing energy in order to transmute a negative environment into a positive environment so um, at the end of the week like I said there will be this phase of gentleness of openness of being able to connect being able to say what's on your mind and heal some wounds okay and whether that has to do with the twin flame or the family um, remains to be seen we'll also be pulling one card at the end of the, the reading from for a message from the universe so that will give us a little bit more clarity but also remember that the overall energy of the reading is the four of wands which is um, commitment it's um, you know the two aspects becoming one um, balanced um, but it's also feeling excited about the future um, feeling like you've arrived but yet you have so much more to to experience in life and you're excited about that so overall like I said union it starts off strong um, but then there's a bit of fear the, the des desire is there to connect most definitely on the masculine side. Okay, so let's move on to the feminine. So the center card for the feminine, make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so we got a mirroring happening here. There's a desire to reconnect, um, to heal, to you know, this card is somebody from the past coming back as well, right? The masculine got past life relationships over there. So she is in a space of innocence and desiring to connect. So let me just shuffle this other deck here. I'm going to make sure I have it up right. Okay. Okay, the Knight of Fire. So there's a very strong desire to move forward or the feminine is directing her energy towards this idea of union or coming together. Um, so this is a very powerful card. It's pouring gas on the fire. It is um, directing your energy towards that goal, something that you're very passionate about. Okay, so the feminine is really feeling like she wants to make an effort. She wants to reach that finish line. Mm, oop, am I going to 
right way here? Yeah, I am. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Um, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your life. Okay, so she's being divinely guided. Um, and also there's a sense that she's in it for the long haul. She's not going anywhere. He's worth waiting for. So even though there's this strong desire to blast forward, um... She's listening to her intuition. She's listening to her guides and really connecting with Source, the collective. Let's see. Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's a lot of fear. Um, a lot of negative thoughts that might be consuming the feminine, but she realizes that she she's not alone, right? Separation is just an illusion. You and I are as close as if we were to be standing right beside one another. Okay, that's how close we are. We're, we're always connected with spirit, with source, with your twin flame. So there's no sense worrying about how things are playing out, right? You, you desire... Um, to come together, you are being divinely guided, so, yeah, surrender and allow Source to play out for you. Next, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, okay, so as I'm holding this card, make a decision, what is it that you want? Do you want to move forward? Do you, um, do you need to do something that is scary for you? Ultimately, this card says that you will make a decision. And it will be very soon. Okay, so once you make that decision, it will come to you. You don't need to go anywhere. Four of Cups. So this is longing, disconnect, discontent, stagnation looking out the window, hoping, wishing for something to return to you. So you will make a decision in that regard, right? And so that's kind of what I'm feeling here is, is looking out that window and worrying, um, wondering, desiring. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to of fun to shine. All right, so you get out of that slump, right? You you start um, connecting with other people as well, possibly with your twin, but there's this joyous energy that you're moving into instead of feeling, you know, kind of walking back and forth in the room, humming and hawing, what do I do, what do I do? It's like you surrender to playfulness, to flirting, to... Um, just being gentle with yourself and everybody else. Six of Swords. Okay, so Six of Swords is somebody who makes a decision to walk away from a negative environment, negative people, or just making a decision to move to calmer waters. Okay, so here we see that decision made very soon, and then towards the middle of the week, or towards, yeah, about the middle of the week, um, you will decide to move into this playful energy. No more negative thoughts. No more looking out that window. It's kind of like taking back control of your life. Okay, next we have reconciliation. Well, there you go. You made that decision, right? Make that decision, and it will come to you. What you're desiring is, you know, reconnecting, moving forward, and voila, here we have someone from your past returning to your life. He's feeling that same longing as well. Eight of Pentacles is movement forward. So feeling very empowered, feeling like you've got a strong foundation to stand on. You feel motivated. You know, this is sitting down and doing some really hard work in order to make something happen. So where you were humming and hauling, uh, now there's this effort to reconcile or something um, happens that makes you feel very strong and grounded 
and like things have finally started to move forward. Can you see the cards if I put them here? Oh, this is right here anyways. Is it? One, two, three, one, two, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm getting them all mixed up here. Okay, next. Soulmate. Wow. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. If you're questioning whether or not they were your soulmate, they are your soulmate. Um, true love. Reconciliation with your true love. So for some twin flames, it seems to me like you guys are going to be reuniting. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in the 3D because it sure feels like he wants it in the 3D and you're more in the 4D realm, feminine. Um, so let's see what the clarifier is. King of Swords. So this could be an air sign. Um, but what I'm seeing here is a masculine energy coming to you, speaking his truth, clarifying some issues. Um, there's this mental clarity here as well, just a clear vision. You know, the clouds part and there's a truth spoken. This card is also an action card. So a return of the soulmate. Reconciliation seems to be big. All right, next. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, so over here, source card we have, make an effort. Great love is worth taking steps you are guided to. And it seems to me like you do. And, you know, or you are taking those steps. And this is kind of like confirmation of it is, he is worth waiting for. He is worth take, making an effort. He is worth um, working hard. You know, it's, he's your soulmate. What else would you be doing? Bam, lover's card. There you go. So feeling very passionate. This is almost kind of the same energy. Um, very passionate, very um, loving, very connected um, at the heart. But here we see the feminine really um, making an effort to make the masculine feel that way or that's just how you f end up feeling because, you, you know, you got the answers that you wanted to. You... Um, you feel like things are finally starting to move forward, so you kind of release whatever whatever was holding you back. Next. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So, I don't know. Let me pull one card for that. Okay, so... <laughs> What I'm seeing here is somebody knocking on the door and um, offering their love. You know, again, a strong sense of reconciliation, somebody coming back. Um, this is a longing card. So it's a desire to have a relationship with, with somebody, but it is also movement forward. Now, the keep an open mind, your soulmate may differ. So if there is... A romantic connection it might not be the way that you thought it would be or they may not be the person that you thought they would be but ultimately you are in love with their heart you're not in love with their money you're not in love with the way they look you love you're in, you're in love with the way they make you feel about yourself right so I don't know why the feminine is kind of holding back a little bit, but there seems to be a bit of resistance on the feminine, and so that's maybe why the masculine is getting that four of pentacles. The feminine may be kind of holding back. Final card. You deserve love. You are lovable. Bam. You decide, yes, um, I'm moving forward. I deserve love. I want to be in this connection. I want 
to be happy. So whatever decisions you have to make, you go ahead and make those decisions. Boom. The heart chakra. <laughs> I love it. So this is an activation of the heart. The heart is the motor that drives consciousness. It drives the twin flame connection. If there's no love, you know, that idea or whatever will collapse back into the void, right? So it is love that drives consciousness, connection. And so the feminine ultimately feels so much love um, by the end of the 11th day. Very nice. Okay, so let's pull two cards from Mist and Mermaids. I like Mist, Mist and Mermaids because I live on the West Coast. Obviously, I've got a lot of shells. Whoa. Okay, so Storm Chaser and Stranded. Usually, I pick the feminine first, so we'll do that and strand for the masculine. So I think um, Storm Chaser is all about creative energy, feeling the surge of energy welling up within you. And yeah, I kind of feel that, you know, with the night of fire there, the desire to move forward, but it's almost like you're holding on to the brakes. All right, Storm Chaser, currents control me into the night. They try to entrap me, I knew that they might. I look to the stars and I know it's not right, but we all seek pleasure. Did you guys get this last week? Please leave a comment, I can't remember. So I look in my heart and I try to express the very forces I'm trying to repress. See you guys, you are repressing something. But each time I discover I'm loving it less, for we all seek pleasure. A lovely young mermaid sits upon the sea, awaiting an electrical storm. Unafraid, she welcomes the energy and excitement it will provide. Prepare to harness, prepare to harness it and relish in its power. So she knows there's a storm coming, and she's preparing herself. It's like very soon, worth waiting for. Make an effort, worth waiting for. Very soon, those are energies of the past. Right, and then we got playfulness, reconciliation, soulmate. Those are kind of um, present moment energies. And then you know, keep an open mind, give your relationship a pass, um, a chance. You deserve love. Again, that is past energy, but but they are accompanied with very beautiful, loving cards: the lovers card, the knight of cups, and the heart chakra. So it's like she opens up. There's. You know, you're waiting for that explosive energy and it seems to happen. Okay, so she rides atop the waves, ex expectant and yet relaxed. So the meaning is expect great creative energy. Energy is in the air. You will soon be struck with profound creative power. Tap into this energy and find the inspiration to create through art, writing, or another form of expression. I know I want to um, start my next deck of cards or do a painting, but I think my the ideas from the next deck is really starting to pour in. Okay, so be warned, this force will build up and it will be released. It is best to select a proper creative outlet so it does not turn into a destructive force. This creative energy can produce amazing results and tap into artistic reserves you never knew you had. Yeah, for sure. Um, if you open yourself up to the power and are receptive at the right time. Now is the time to complete that project you have been wanting to finish, but have had trouble wrapping up. Yeah, I'm done my book, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I keep relating it to myself. Oh my God, I'm terrible. Okay, um, your signature piece, your work of a lifetime. If you do not do it soon, you may miss an exceptional opportunity. Who knows when it will come again? Damn right. Yeah, so some you wanna do something Go for it, girls. All right, so for the masculine, you guys are feeling stranded. Yeah, and, and that, that's what I was feeling. It's like, you know, I want my twin flame. I want, I feel love for her. There's chemistry drawing him towards the feminine. And then it's like you're on an island working and um, taking care of other things, but at the same time your soul is crying out. Oh wow, and I open it right to the page. Okay. 
Stranded. For the solitary seafarer, the time has come to weep. Longing, empty, yearning for her dreams dreamt dark and deep. That's what you guys are doing, dreaming. The moon card is also a dream. dream. Um, okay, so forlorn, forlornly lamenting, she aches to close the gap she keeps, remembering a loved one as she's drifting off to sleep. Aw, you guys. That's what I was getting here, romantic feelings, and this woman is laying in bed, right? Thinking about this connection, true love. Slipping into nothing, an oaken gnarled embrace, listlessly awaiting the sun's lustrous face. Alone on an island, swiftly shrinking space, she is stranded, alone, afraid, and in disgrace. Wow, and there's that alone card. Okay, so alone and stuck in a gnarled tree on a deserted island, a melancholy mermaid stares into the distance, oblivious to the sunset rising behind her. She is pale and lost in a reverie. She is isolated and lonely, but why? Stop isolating yourself. You may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. What you see as rejection is all in your mind. There's that. Sorry about that. I ran out of memory. I must have it on a higher setting or something. Um, okay, where was I? Okay. So you're avoiding, okay, let me just start from the beginning. So stop isolating yourself. You may feel deserted, but it is a self-imposed isolation. What you see as rejection is all in your mind. Others are not avoiding you. You are avoiding them preemptively, preventing them from rejecting you. It is not healthy to avoid relationships and interactions for fear of losing a loved one or of becoming embarrassed. It is time to step off the island you have created for yourself and join the rest of society. Make contact with a friend you have been avoiding. Go back to classes and meetings you have bowed out of and wisely invest in new modes of communication so you can talk once again with the world. The world is waiting for you. It is up to you to take the first step. Okay, the universe is saying, guys, come on. This is what you want. It's not healthy to isolate yourself. And that's definitely what I see in the reading. All right, so I'm sending massive love your way, and I will see you for the yin and yang reading coming up next. All right, cheers.